<laughs> I'm not suggesting. No, no, no. I think she's revered and respected across the art world in terms of public consciousness. She's underrated. Epidauros is a wonder for all kinds of reasons. This was here as therapy. It was a purge and a balm for society's soul. Inspiring arts and culture on BBC World News. This is BBC World News. I'm Lucy Hawkins, live in Tokyo, where the delayed 2020 Olympic Games are about to begin. The opening ceremony begins here in Tokyo in a very empty Olympic stadium. Fewer than 1,000 spectators are allowed to attend. Earlier, we saw the end of the torch relay after a four-month journey around the country. With COVID cases rising, there are people still here in Japan that say these games should have been cancelled. We'll bring you all the very latest Olympic news as the opening ceremony of Tokyo 2020 gets underway. I'm Marian Mashiri in London, also coming up in the programme. The US denies a change in policy as it bombs Taliban positions in Afghanistan. Our correspondent is in Kabul. U.S. officials have confirmed that a number of airstrikes were launched in support of Afghan forces in recent days. And uh, we understand that at least some of them have been around the southern city of Kandahar. And Xi Jinping visits Tibet, the first by a Chinese president for more than 30 years. Chinese state media shows a rapturous welcome. Hello and welcome to Tokyo. After a year's delay, sackings and resignations and a COVID state of emergency, this extraordinary city is finally holding the opening ceremony of its Olympic Games. More than 11,000 athletes from over 200 nations will compete over the next